What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. Today's product is Reese K25 Keyboard and Mouse Remote. So in the box we have the remote itself, we've got a charging cable which is just a micro USB to USB, the wireless receiver which is just a USB end, and then a manual which is in English. Um, the wording in the manual isn't exactly the best. Uh, most of the features you can figure out pretty easily from the manual, so I'm not really going to go through all of kind of the features of it. I'm going to go through some of the more important ones or some of the things that you might not realize that this remote could do. So this product is kind of neat. I don't actually own a smart TV, but I do own a regular TV and a Roku, so I was curious to see if it would work on it. Unfortunately, it didn't. However, I did try it on a couple game systems and smart TVs, and it worked on them no problem. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use it on my laptop, so give me one second. Okay, so I went ahead and plugged in the receiver into my laptop, and here we have the remote, and I'm going to be showing you first uh, this side of it. So let me see if I can get a little bit better lighting on it. So this is kind of like your general remote side, and this can do different functions on different devices. So for example, the power button down here, if I pressed it, it would actually put my laptop into sleep mode. Um, home will take you to the like default page for your browser. Search will pull up the Google or whatever search engine you have. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? So right here, you may or may not be able to tell what that is. That's a cursor button. So you can see my cursor is right here. If I press this button, it will activate it to where I can control it. So I'm just going to pull my remote off screen so uh, just a little bit so that way you can see the cursor a little bit better. So I pressed it now. So as you can see, as I move the remote, the cursor will move as well. But as, as you can see, if I point it straight, uh, the cursor seems to be all the way over here. Now if you want to adjust that so it's a little bit more centered, what you should do is, is press the cursor button again, which will lock the cursor in place. So as you can see, it's not moving now. Then point it wherever the cursor is, and then press the cursor button again. And then just kind of get it where you want it, lock it again, then unlock it while facing it, and there, it's better situated. It will kind of, as you can see, kind of go off a little bit um, once in a while. It works better if you're farther away, in my opinion, than if you're this close. If you're this close, it does kind of desynchronize a little bit too easily, which can be a pain, but otherwise it's not really that big of an issue. So now I'm just gonna choose Google real quick, so up and down, left and right, press OK to enter. Um, let me type in something, so Wikipedia. So now we have the page up and down button, which will also work on this, so as you can see, up and down. Um, yeah, so that pretty much covers everything on the remote side of this. If you're to use it on a PC, as I said, slightly different functions depending on what device you use it on. And it might be a little hard to see with the lighting, but there's an on and off switch here to turn on the remote itself. Um, it'll go into sleep mode if you just always leave it on. And there's a tiny, tiny blue light here, which you can't see in the video. But if you press any button, the blue light should turn on to show you that it should be active now. So yeah, and then you also charge it right here. You might be able to see that little slit right there for the micro USB point. Um, also for voice controls, it's up here. You just talk up here. There's a couple little dots there that you just speak into. So yeah, now we have the keyboard side of this. Um, it's a standard keyboard, nothing too special. You can change the DPI, however. So if you press, uh, let me actually get out of my laptop area for a second because we don't really need it now. Typing wise, I can show you real quick. It types just fine. Um, Wikipedia. So as you can see, it types just fine. Uh, no real issue with that. So I'm just gonna kind of close this out so that way you can get a better look of the actual remote itself. Okay, so I just went ahead and resituated everything so you can get a better look of the remote itself. It's probably much easier for you to see all the buttons and everything on it now. Here's what the remote side looks like and here's the cursor button right here that I was talking about. Uh, volume, page up, page down, all that good stuff. And then on the back we have the keyboard portion of it which works very well. Um, not really any lag from what I can tell between 
typing and what appears. Uh, the lag that it does show must be uh, a short enough time that you can't actually tell. So as I was trying to point out, it does have the DPI adjustability by pressing function and caps up here, the caps lock. Um, it also has a couple little neat things that aren't that important but are kind of nice to have. Just when you're typing on something small like this, it makes it a little bit quicker to sometimes type up. So if you press function and alt right here, it'll automatically put in www. That'll save you a little time when you're starting to write up a website. And then function and uh, the right here the comma is going to be .com. So again, just to help end a website or an email address. And then function control has the at sign. Uh, they just conveniently, or sorry, no, function control doesn't have an at sign, my bad. Function control actually opens up your music, or at least that's what it does on my laptop. So if I press that, it opens up my music player on my laptop. But yeah, so overall, I think this remote is pretty nice to have. You might be wondering why I got it if I don't even have a smart TV. Well, I figured it wouldn't work on my normal TV, but I thought it might work on my laptop, which, I mean, it should, right? And it does. And the reason I want it for my laptop is because I like to hook up my laptop to a projector or my TV once in a while when I want to watch something from online. So instead of having to get up every time, because my HDMI cable is only like three feet long, instead of getting up every time to go like pause a video or go to some other website to watch another video or go to the next episode, I can just control all that with this since as you can see I could do with the air mouse function which lets me pretty much control the cursor on the laptop. And it lets me, you know, control the websites and everything very easily from this one device. So I don't really need, it kind of makes things a little easier. Um, so yeah, alright everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. The link to this product is in the description below. Be sure to check out TubeBuddy below as well. Thanks for watching.